Hello, Petawawa. My name is Andrew Keck, COVID Response Coordinator with Run for County and District Health Unit. Today, I'm joined by Dr. Tim Pepin, base surgeon for CFB Petawawa, and Petawawa Mayor Bob Sweet. And we have some simple reminders for our community to help limit the spread of COVID-19. First of all, we want to thank every individual and business for all of the hard work that you've put in over the last five months. However, as we keep moving forward with stage three of, the, of reopening Ontario, and as the new school year is about to start in less than a month, it's important that we keep using our prevention measures to limit further cases. Remember, maintain a two meter physical distance from those not already part of your 10 person social circle. Wear a face covering while in enclosed public spaces or when you can't maintain physical distancing from others and practice good hand hygiene. Wash your hands frequently and use alcohol-based hand rub. These measures are important as community transmission still occurs periodically as we've seen over the last month. One really important thing that I wanted to uh, remind everyone of is the need to self-isolate if you develop symptoms. I can't stress this enough. Uh, if you develop symptoms, isolate immediately. You can call Renford County District Health Unit. You can call VTAC to find out how to get tested or just show up at the next drive through site. The most important thing is that while you're waiting for that test result, you need to isolate. Until that result comes back negative, stay isolated. Finally, if anyone receives a positive test result, we'll follow up with that individual and we'll identify any other close contacts and we'll notify the close contacts or businesses that, may, that they may have um, attended while potentially infectious uh, to notify them that they uh, were an exposure of COVID-19. In most cases, there's very few exposures, but trust our process. It's worked so far to keep our case count low. Thank you. And now a message from Dr. Pepin for our Canadian Forces members. Hey, thanks a lot for that, Andrew. Um, those are all those are all incredibly important points. Um, I'm going to try to be really brief. Uh, one of the things that you guys have probably noticed out there is that the policies are changing, and sometimes they're a little bit hard to keep a handle on. Uh, and people are confused and they're a little bit frustrated. Um, so this is just a little bit of a message of reassurance that uh, you know, you're not alone in thinking that some of these things are confusing, they are confusing. And you're not alone in thinking that you know, things seem to be a little bit different in one place and then they'll be a little bit different somewhere else. They are different in different places. Uh, and to some extent, uh, that doesn't matter, that's fine. Um, what you need to understand about everything that's happening is that we're playing a game of odds, of probabilities, right? And so we don't need to have perfect solutions. Things don't need to be absolutely consistent. They don't even need to make sense uh, in, a, in a perfect sense all the time. What they need to do is improve our odds that people are not going to communicate COVID-19 to other people. And we're doing a great job of that here in Ontario. We're doing a great job of that uh, in the CAF. You can see that our numbers have been low. Uh, and even though there are little blips and things that happen, our general trend has been really good. Okay, so what I'm going to talk about is uh, particularly for the CAF, even more so than for the civilian sector, you're going to see slight differences, right? You'll notice, well, you know, why aren't the restaurants exactly the same or why is the policy around the pool or the water park exactly the same as you know what's happening in town or what's happening in another town or what's happening in toronto uh, and the answer is that we have some unique requirements that are a little bit different from the civilian sector uh, you know we have people who have to maintain a certain mission readiness posture um, you know, we, we have training that needs to happen. We have unique places like, um, you know, the, the shacks that are a little bit different in terms of their sensitivity from other areas. Okay. So don't be astonished if you find that we're sometimes a little bit ahead of the civilian sector in some risks, or if we're a little bit behind the civilian sector in other risks. Okay. Things don't need to be absolutely consistent and our, our general trend is upwards. So we're looking at this stuff all the time. If you see something that you think is uh, unsafe or concerning, by all means, reach out to your chain of command or reach out directly to me and I can, uh, I can provide some, some information or some context on that. But uh, good job to everybody. We're doing a great job here. Uh, and uh, like Andrew said, it's extremely important to you know, not let ourselves imagine that this is behind us, that everything is safe and fine. We do still need to be absolutely vigilant with our public health measures. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Dr. Pepin. Uh, Mayor Sweet, would you like to provide our community with some messaging? 
Yes, thank you very much, and I appreciate the opportunity to, to be with you, gentlemen, uh, uh, Andrew and Dr. Pepin. It certainly is a, a pleasure to be here and talk a little bit about our community and the response that I see within our community. First, let me just say thank you to the Renfrew County District Health Unit and the, and, and the team uh, under Dr. Cushman uh, is leading us through this pandemic, something we've never had to deal with uh, ever, certainly in my lifetime. And I, I was born during the Second World War, so that's a long while ago. Uh, but nonetheless, I want to say thank you to, to the, the health unit and Dr. Cushman. And we're so fortunate to have that gentleman and the vast experience that he has had guiding us through this particular pandemic. So it is, is, is really, really uh, appreciative also to the first responders uh, that are out there, the community paramedics, uh, uh, the uh, fire people, all of those who are helping to, to keep our community safe. And talking about keeping our community safe, I have to uh, have to to say that I'm re really, really pleased and delighted to see the cooperation between the business community and the residents. Uh, even before masks were mandatory within the within the business community, many many people were wearing masks. Now that it's mandatory indoor for grocery shopping, uh, it's absolutely essential that we continue, as Dr. Pepin has said, to keep our foot on the gas and not be complacent with this particular uh, COVID-19 uh, pandemic. And I see that in spades out there. And in particular, what is very reassuring for me uh, is the patience that and the understanding when you're in these various uh, stores, uh, people working together and cooperating uh, to get the job done. Uh, and I think that is very, very enlightening. Also, I see uh, neighbors helping neighbors, and I think that defines us as a community where people, for whatever reason, cannot get out uh, and, and do their shopping for the basic needs. Uh, the grandchildren are out there helping one another, or the neighbors are out picking up groceries and, and taking them to uh, to the uh, to their to their homes. So neighbors helping neighbors is certainly helping in a great way to to do that. I'm really pleased with the cooperation and the response that I see. Very little pushback if any, on, on the regulations of the route that are in place and put in place by the health unit. And I appreciate uh, the work that, that, that you're doing. I can't uh, emphasize that, that enough. Um, as I said, we cannot be complacent. We cannot let our foot off the gap. As you see down south of us, what happens when uh, there's a uh, non-adherence to social distancing and, and personal hygiene and of course not wearing masks. Uh, this this is a very contagious virus as I understand it. Uh, not being a scientist, we have to rely on that scientist so we cannot let our guards down at all. But all in all, I have to tell you I'm very, very pleased with the cooperation that I see from our residents. Keep up the, the good work and we will get through this together. We're all in this together, as you, as we all know, and together we will get through this pandemic uh, and return to whatever normal is going to be like when we get, when we get through this. But again, hats off to all those who are making our community safe, uh, to the residents for doing an outstanding job of uh, of adhering to the various rules and regulations that have been passed down, not only by the by the Renfrew County District Health Unit, but uh, by the province of Ontario. I think our Premier has had a very strong hand in, in, in guiding us through this as well. So thank you to, to everyone and keep up the, the good work. Thank you. Well said, and thank you, Petawawa, and thank you, General, for your time. Let's uh, keep COVID-19 at bay and stay well. Thanks. Thank you.